What's up my little unicorns, new and old? It's West Indy Ray back again with another video. Now today I wanna to hop right into my amazing tips on how to alleviate cramps and other pain related to menstrual cycles or moon time as I like to call it. Now make sure you stay tuned to the end because at the end of this video, somewhere in the end, I'm not sure when yet because I haven't edited it yet, but somewhere during the end, I'm going to mention my biggest tips that I actually discovered work for myself as well. I have actually tried them and I've never seen these tips mentioned in any other YouTube video, which makes mine a little special, you know what I'm saying? So make sure you stay tuned to the end for those. Now first and foremost, okay, if you are not drinking water right now, whether you are on or off of your moon time, but especially if you're on your moon time, pause this video, go ahead and subscribe to my channel, follow me on Instagram at West Indy Ray, and on my business page at Indigo Nine Jewelry. Go get yourself some water, come back to this video, and then resume. Replenishing yourself with water is half the battle when it comes to your moon time struggles. Everything that I'm gonna tell you is going to work, but it'll be even better, even more effective if you are drinking water the way that you should be. So the Yoniverse, which encompasses the whole pelvic region, so all of your lady parts, just like crystals, it stores things like memories, people, other people's experiences, relationships, as well as trauma. This is why regardless of what your spiritual or religious beliefs are, it is actually very important to kind of guard who you let in and out of your sacred area. You could be storing traumas from other people that you have no idea that you're storing, and this can manifest itself in several ways, including medical problems in that region, as well as extremely difficult menstruation. This is why I definitely want to start off this video talking about womb work. It's extremely extremely important to get your universe together first and foremost so that you can let go of things that no longer serve you that may manifest themselves into pain in other areas of your life. For that reason, I want to start off by talking about my yoni egg, which is not something that I use during my moon time. It's something that I use quite frequently like throughout the month, but I do know people who use it for both. This is the first yoni egg I ever got. It's actually from Bliss Yoni Eggs. This is a nephrite jade yoni egg. And one of the reasons why I wanted to get this one for my starter is because it is not porous as some of the other yoni eggs are, which means that they are a lot easier to wash and more sanitary. You can also keep them in for a longer length of time because of the fact that they're not porous. And let's say something happens, like you drop it, or in some cases, if it like falls out by accident, like you forget it's there and then you like push too hard doing something, you know what I'm saying? In that case, this egg would not really crack because of the hardness of it. Also, it would be a lot easier to cleanse it and be able to put it back in. If I was dealing with a more porous egg, I would be very like, weird about ever putting it back in because you don't know what type of toxins are still in that egg and that can release into your body. So I really, really love the jade ones. I also really enjoy the benefits of this egg. It's said to bless whoever it touches. It brings wealth. It helps you realize your untapped potential. It helps with perspective. It clears toxins, helps with metabolism, and also helps with your bones and joints which we know is something that hurts a lot of times when we are going through our moon time. It also helps with balance and courage among many, many other things. These are just some of the benefits that come along with that Yoni egg. And another thing that I really like about it is that this brand sells a lot of GIA certified crystals, which means that they're like genuine and authentic and all that good stuff as well. The reason why Yoni eggs were on this list is because they help with emotional, sexual, spiritual, physical, all types of healing, which really helps your universe to work at its highest potential. It transforms it into a space that's really gonna work with you instead of against you. These gems will help you become at one with your body instead of feeling like once a month your body is at war with your body. Body. Does that sound familiar? Because same. Yoni eggs are also really good for Kegel exercises or to substitute the intentional Kegel exercises which strengthen the vaginal muscles and pelvic floor. This actually helps with so many things including increased quality of sex for both you and your partner. It helps with people who suffer from leaky bladders. It also helps with recovery from childbirth, increased orgasms, and you guessed it, menstrual cramps. So needless to say, I really love my yoni egg. And moving on, I just wanna tell you guys some things that I feel like most of us know, but some people don't know, so I just wanna mention them really, really quickly before I get into the life-changing moon time hacks that I'm gonna tell you. I wrote a list for this part so that I can get through it really, really quickly. So here are some foods to stay away from. Stay away from dairy, sugar, caffeine, 
salty foods, high fat foods, alcohol, and spicy food. Although these foods may seem so, so tempting because of the cravings that we get during our moon time, they're really not that good and it'll make matters worse. So maybe instead of your triple chocolate fudge brownie ice cream deluxe with fudge all over it, you might try having a piece of dark chocolate. And if you're craving things like soda, I always like to have kombucha on hand. I love kombucha. This is actually a really good brand and a really good flavor. It's Hum Strawberry Lemonade. Now your things to eat are going to include bananas, broccoli, salmon, nuts, dark chocolate, leafy greens, whole grains, lemons, oranges, watermelon and plums, and chamomile tea. And of course water, as I said before. Make sure you're drinking a lot of water. So the next thing, my tip number three, is to de-stress. Whether that be laying down, meditating, or putting your phone on do not disturb for a couple hours, de-stressing is amazing. Take care of yourself and do it. Number four is going to be to stay out of the sun if you're feeling fatigued. Last time I went against my own good advice and went in the sun anyway, I was seeing stars within minutes. Only go outside if it's not extremely hot and you're not feeling extremely weak already. Number five is definitely gonna be to get some fresh air though. Like I said, if you can't go outside, don't do it. You can just stay in the house, turn on a fan and open up a window and you'll be just fine. I totally forgot number six, but number six is gonna be to get some exercise if you can. Um, if you're feeling weak, like I said, don't do it, but it really reduces cramps, so if you are able, definitely get some exercise in. Number seven is going to be to take a hot bath if you don't mind doing baths during your moon time. I personally don't really take baths unless it's for a spiritual purpose, so I prefer number eight, which is going to be to get a heating pad. Now this is my heating pad. It has a clicker, it has three settings. You can get these at CVS or Walgreens, and if you're watching this when you're not on your moon time and you're gonna like get prepared ahead of time, Amazon also has really competitive prices. I really like this one because it turns off automatically after like two hours or something like that. But having two of these is really great if you suffer from back pain as well as cramps because you can lay on your back with one of them and then put the other one on your top and put like a pillow or something in order to get some pressure on there. But at this house, unfortunately, I don't have two of these so I just try to wrap it around both sides as much as possible. So that's my number eight. Number nine is for the more mature listeners. Having sex or masturbating during your moon time can drastically improve your cramps as well as your overall mood. I have been told that it even feels better than regular sex. I don't know if that's true or not, I just heard it. It also relieves headaches and forces your muscles to contract which pushes the uterine contents out quicker resulting in shorter periods. It also helps you determine if the person you thought was your soulmate is actually your soulmate or if they're just like squeamish little losers who don't want to help you when you need it most. So I've been told, I mean, I wouldn't really know, but that's just what people have been telling me. So if you agree with this method, comment hashtag earthyaf in the comment section. I'm trying to see something. <laughs> Number 10 is definitely going to be to use essential oils in order to help you with your moon time troubles. Essential oils such as peppermint can help a lot with the nausea that some of us experience. Not Naja, naja, yeah, that's me. And lavender can help a lot with relaxing and helping you be less tense during the time of your cramps and it'll just relax your muscles and all that. You can apply these things like directly to your skin so that you're smelling them. I like to rub a little bit of lavender oil on my stomach and my back to release some of that tension. But by far my go-to is going to be Zoomist. I buy the frankincense and myrrh kind. I really, really like how it smells. I spray it all over my room as well as on myself and it puts me in a really relaxed state. I love this stuff. It works for me. If you guys have never tried Zoomis, I would highly, highly suggest to try it. I put my whole family on in like 2013 or something and they have been using it ever since. Zoomis is great. But again, you can also just use like the regular stuff. Next thing I'm gonna tell you guys about is menstrual cramp relief sound therapy. Now this is where we're getting into the uncharted territory. As you guys know, my videos are a little different than a lot of other people's videos. I'm like on the spiritual brain waves type stuff. So I definitely wanted to include this because it is something that helps me so, so much. And again, I personally did research on this and I wrote it down so I wouldn't leave anything out. So I'm gonna go ahead and read that. If you guys don't know what menstrual cramp relief sound therapy is, there's basically this whole world of binaural beat frequencies that create a frequency following response in your brain that can help reducing stress, decreasing physical pain, anxiety, you can use it for studying, weight loss, astral projection, 
rising vibrations, meditation, increasing energy, and so on. I find mine on YouTube. They also have them on SoundCloud, I believe, as well. I like to listen to these first in my awake state in this body before I allow myself to fall asleep to them because before I travel to different dimensions and work within my subconscious self, I just wanna make sure that there are no subliminal messages getting through there. So yeah, number 11 is definitely going to be those menstrual cramp relief sound therapies. Now these next two are my holy grail treatments that I use for my moon time relief. Just because I'm not all the way there, like I haven't arrived with my Yoniverse work yet, so I still do suffer a lot of pain sometimes. Mugwort, I have a pound of it. It's organic, it is legal. I got it on Amazon. Some people smoke mugwort. I choose to have it in a tea. Sometimes I even mix it with ginger or chamomile tea. And if you guys don't know how to steep herbs without them being inside of tea bags, you can just get a tea steeper. I will put links to some of them that you can purchase from like Amazon or like, you know, Bed Bath & Beyond or something like that down below. Now about mugwort, I did my research and I wrote some stuff down for you. Mugwort's Latin name is Artemisia vulgaris. This is said to come from the name Artemis, the Greek moon goddess who supported women at crucial moments in their lives. And yes, this is the same moon that our bodies physically reflect in the way that it has its phases, which is why I keep calling our menstrual cycles or our periods moon time. And so the same way the moon pulls tides, herbs that are associated with the moon are amazing for pulling and releasing stagnant energy from the body, which may manifest as discomfort during our moon time. In my research, I found that Artemis' divine presence was said to be concentrated in mugwort, and they used it a lot in full moon ceremonies to honor her. The herb is antibacterial, antifungal, anti-inflammatory. It's an astringent. It tightens and tones lax tissues and can help tone the uterus to prevent cramping, which is like what this video is all about right it's bitter which means it's great for killing parasites it helps the body absorb nutrients stimulates blood flow in the pelvic area which encourages smooth flow of menstruation and this is very important because if the uterus is not receiving enough blood the body will have to strain extra hard in order for it to push out the stagnant blood and any type of strain is obviously going to cause us hella pain. Mugwort can also relax the muscles to further assist with heavy cramping and other discomfort that you may encounter during this time. The herb is also good for so many other things like headaches, fever, insomnia, dreaming, and so on. Some say it even opens up portals. If you guys want a super in-depth, detailed profile on this psychedelic herb that is completely legal and you want to know what it's used for and how to use it, comment hashtag mugwort in the comment section below. And then there was one. My last tip, tip number 13 is going to be CBD oil. CBD oil is a cannabis derivative that doesn't include the psychedelic effects that people get from smoking, ingesting, or otherwise using marijuana in its complete form. Contrary to popular belief, I don't care for smoking at all and I'm more of a social drinker even though I'm not drinking at all at this point in life. So I'd rather go for therapies that are going to allow me to be completely present on this plane. So when I found out that this was like a thing and I was able to do it and it's legal, I was like, bad. Now some people use CBD in drop form. Some people eat gummies or use other types of CBD candy, but as of now, I choose to smoke it from my pen. I have the charm pen with a 500 milligram cartridge. This is what it looks like and I've used it a lot and I still have a lot left. So even though it seems kind of expensive, I got the 500 milligram for $54. It's really not that expensive because it lasts forever. Now some people do have mixed reviews on vape pens or if they're dangerous or safe or how they affect your body in other ways. If you have any of those reservations, you can easily just go ahead and try the drops. I've never tried them, but I've spoken to people who have tried them before and we have like the same experience with them. So I would definitely say go for it. My experience with this is that it just completely relaxed me. My cramps completely went away and I was like able to take a nap and stuff like that, which I'm not usually able to do. The first time I used it, I was shocked at how fast it worked. It was like less than if you were to pop an Advil or something like that. Like it took even less time. Plus, I mean, it's not an Advil that has like tons of fillers and like bad things in it for you. Like, you know, you know. CBD oil is also associated with reducing anxiety and depression, alleviating cancer related symptoms, helping with acne, and to help with neurological disorders. 
tons of people who have had like epilepsy and stuff like that seizures completely takes away their symptoms I use these tips in conjunction with the diet the water the relaxation methods and I'm still here I'm still happy I'm not bloated at all usually I get super super bloated but I'm on day two and I'm not even sucking it in that is magic. So I hope you guys really like this video and I hope that you're able to make good use of it. If you made it to the end, as usual, make sure you comment a little unicorn below as well as the hashtag EarthyAF or hashtag Mugwort as follows. Make sure you like, subscribe, comment, and share. Follow all my social media accounts right down there and enjoy your day knowing that the Divine Feminine is not a curse but a gift. Once we harness that power and put it to use, we start to realize just how special it is. So again, you guys know that I love you so, 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 so much. And I'll see you in the next video.